Are you making things harder than you need to? I just caught myself doing that in a major way this last weekend. I'll tell you a story about that in a moment. And I also see my clients and the educators that I work with making things so much harder than they often need to. And I'm going to tell you a, a client story as well. So first, before I get into those, let me tell you, my name is Gretchen Wegner. I am an academic life coach, and I work with students and educators and people who are creating their own businesses as academic coaches to de-stressify school and schooling. And boy, do I need the tools that I teach other people. So here's the deal. Here's my little whiteboard for the day. This is me. This is also the students and the business builders and the educators I work with. And I notice that we often have this, this thought, I feel I should be blank, blank, blank. Uh, this past weekend for me, I, there was a training call for my community and I was telling myself, God, I, you know, it was in the morning and I was like, oh, I should be more prepared. I should... <laughs> I should be showered. I should look presentable. I should, I should, I should. And I was running out of time and I was feeling increasingly stressed out about it. I'll tell you how it ended in a moment. But first, I also want to tell you about my client uh, who keeps on trying to take the most rigorous classes he can in high school. Uh, and this client, I'm pretty sure, this person has not been tested yet, but I'm pretty sure that they might have ADHD and or some other kinds of specific executive dysfunctions, poor thing. And despite trying so hard and taking the most rigorous classes, they just can't keep up with all of the work expected of them. And they are diving down, feeling totally ashamed of themselves. And then how do they deal with that shame? They just shut down and tell everybody, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna get my work in but this client is making things harder for, for themselves. Uh, there are some pretty simple things they could do to not have to struggle so hard. And so here is the thing that I'm trying to replace this thought with. When I notice myself feeling a should, I'm trying to tell myself in reality, I do my best work when dot, dot, dot. So in the case of my training call that I was rushing for, I was like, wait, wait a second, Gretchen, you have designed a life and a business for yourself where you get to show up exactly as you are. And it turns out that people enjoy it even more. And we have the richer discussions. So <laughs> I was like, you know what, just stay in your pajamas, honey. And yeah, you haven't had a chance to finish making your special cream for your coffee, but just do that at the training call. Because actually the Saturday training calls are the ones where, where people know that you're gonna be more casual anyway. And I let myself just be exactly me and it ended up being a rich and powerful conversation. And I think we felt even more connected because <laughs> I, shared, I shared my recipe for my creamer for my coffee at the beginning of it. And then my client, well, I don't yet have a nice tidy ending to the story about my client, but he and I are working on how can he actually let himself notice he's feeling ashamed because he's not even saying that out loud. How, and then how can he start getting below the shame and start noticing in reality, I do my best work when I have less pressure from one less AP class maybe, or in reality, I do my best work when I allow someone to help me make my to-do list because I keep on leaving things off the to-do list when I do it by myself. Or I do my best work when dot, dot, dot. So I'm going to be looking at this question more in the month of February. Uh, this is the year 2022, we're ending January. And we're going to be looking at how we don't have to work as hard as we think, whether we are students or whether we are educators or people building our businesses. Like I see so many folks who are starting their businesses as academic coaches who are also still trying to hold their jobs up as teachers, expecting themselves to follow through with to-do lists that are 
way longer than our than is humanly possible actually so how do we even tell ourselves in reality i do my best work when dot 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 about that kind of question we dig into all of those kinds of things in my anti-boring educators community where we problem solve students working harder than they need to and ourselves uh, and if you'd like a taste of what it's like to be able to show up live with me and uh dive into your own questions and your own habits or maybe just tell me something you think you're making harder than you need to i show up once a month for free live on zoom you can find out the next date at gretchenwegnercom slash live and uh come hang out with us you don't even have to ask a question if you don't want but you also get to ask a question if you do your best work when you are in community talking and thinking out loud. I'd love to see you then. Also, something I've been making harder for myself is I, I've never asked you all to please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'm gonna start trying to get myself to do that because it's easier for me when I have more likes and more subscriptions, then I can actually, once I have enough people here, I can actually post little links that you all can click on. It makes it easier for you too. <laughs> So please like and subscribe, head to GretchenWegner.com slash live to find out when you can show up to hang out with us and think about this question. In reality, I do my best work when dot, 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 and maybe allow yourself to design a life around the answers to this question. How amazing would that be? <laughs> Take care, y'all.